So by now you probably heard of this app called Vero. Vero is a social media platform that has been talked about a lot in the photography community over the past couple weeks. Many photographers switching to it for a number of reasons, so you know I had to try it. Overall, I like this app, love what they're doing, but it does have its downsides along with one major issue depending on the type of photographer you are. But before we get into what those are, let's talk about why photographers are posting to Vero to begin with. Vero's whole thing is no ads, chronologically ordered posts, and the appreciation for photography, which fixes all the issues photographers are having with Instagram right now, and they do this very well. I've been using Vero for about a week or so, and I'm enjoying the experience. Posts are truly in chronological order, there's no ads, and I don't know about you, but every time I follow a new photographer on Instagram that has like below 500 followers, I never see their posts. It's almost like Instagram prioritizes accounts based on follower account, which sucks because I'm following that person because I want to see their posts. Vero's algorithm seems like it doesn't care whether you have one or a thousand followers, it's gonna show your posts in chronological order to the people you decide you want to share it to. But let's talk about my experience with this app, some of the things I like and some of the things I dislike. Like I said, posts in chronological order, no ads, all of that is great. But the one thing that I really like Vero for is the community that's on it. Because the majority of users on there are photographers that are all sharing their work, everyone is super supportive and appreciative of everybody's work. Just look at all the comments on this post. Everyone is coming together and supporting each other, which is amazing to see. With that being said, there are some things that I dislike about Vero. Other than its clunky app design, its random features like the ability to post apps, books, movies, and games, which I think is a little weird instead of just focusing on one thing. There's an even bigger issue with this app and that's that the majority of people on the platform or joining the platform are other photographers, which means I'm not gonna be booking clients from it. One of the main reasons why I post to Instagram is to find more clients and get more business. A lot of models follow me on there. I find a lot of models through there. Friends of clients follow me and reach out to me through there. And I would say that about 40% of my business comes from Instagram, which is a huge portion. If I post photos from a shoot or vice versa, the client posts photos from that shoot and we tag each other, there's a high chance that their friends are going to see this post and I'm going to get two or three of them reach out to me asking for a shoot. But like I said, this is an issue for me or other photographers like me. If you're a street photographer or landscape photographer and you don't get business through Instagram and instead you just want to share your work amongst a good community of other creatives, then Vero is a great app for this. Now does this mean I'm not going to use Vero? No, but I will tell you how I plan to use it going forward. All I've been posting to Instagram for months now is my portrait work and that's because that's what I want to get booked for, but portraits is not the only thing that I take photos of. I bring my camera everywhere and take amazing street photography, traveling photos, and never actually share these photos to anyone because I know that the people who follow me on Instagram are there for my portraits. And I'm not the only one. Many of my friends who are photographers who specialize in one thing like couples and weddings also take amazing photos of other things. They just don't post them because either they don't match their feed or it doesn't reflect what they want to get booked for. So I plan to use Vero like it's meant to be used, to post my work amongst this great community of other photographers and not look to be booked from it. So I guess we're at the point of the video where I tell you if I think it's even worth it to post on Vero. You're probably already posting on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, so should you waste your time posting to this new platform? Well, I think it all depends on what you're looking to get out of it. Like I said, if you're a street photographer or anything like that, and the only reason why you're posting on Instagram to begin with is for people to see and appreciate your work, then Vero is a great app for this. They have an amazing community of other photographers who are all supporting each other. Your posts are not gonna be suppressed by some algorithm and your work is gonna be seen by those who follow you. Now, if you're someone like me who posts their portraits, couples, or wedding photos for the purpose of sharing their portfolio and booking more clients, then Vero is not going to be that new social media app that you're gonna be leaving Instagram for. With that being said, I just wanted to make this video to share my experience with this app and to answer the questions I received from you guys wondering if it's even worth it 
it to post on this app. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see more photography content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video. And I'll see you in the next one.